Right, this is going to be the first part in a two-part video about the laser and the reason I'm making it is because I finally got around to uh, doing a proper upright for the laser. So up until now I've been putting it on upturned pots on top of this bench. Um, so to adjust the height I'd just add spaces so or use a different pot. Um, but the one I recommend, I'll link it in the description, but it's also the one on my recommended tools, is this one that comes with a magnetic mount. So what I've done is this is one of the cheap metal uh, workbenches, shelving rack things that you can get on Amazon for not a lot of money. And I've got some spare uh, cross beams from it. So I haven't used all the shelves. So I bolted two of them together to make this fairly stable upright. And then obviously because it's metal, the magnet sticks to it. So it gives something that I can slide the magnet up and down for infinite height adjustment. Um, and then it makes it very simple. Having it here means that I can record straight on. So this is kind of at one corner of the wheel. Um, and I can record straight on. I can also see the laser, the camera can see the laser. It's quite easy to see the laser shining from this side when you're throwing because it hits the things that you're holding, it hits your hands. Uh, and it projects across like that. So, I don't know actually it's visible, but you'll see it in the throwing videos. Um, so basically, because it projects the lines for both of them, it's not just the cross intersection, you get a very good view of where it is. Um, as for the full range of height adjustment, having it so that it can, with this scut wheel, having it so it can slide all the way down to resting on it, gives you a height of about seven centimetres, which is about as low as I throw anything that I want the laser for to give the height. Oh, I should say, it's a two axis self-leveling laser. If you're gonna get a different one, um, that's a good thing to look for. Just the self-leveling is nice, and the two axis gives you the cross. If you only get, um, some of them are just horizontal, which is for DIY, not so useful for this, because you want the width as well. Going to use it as a throwing guide. Um, but yeah, so that's how I set the laser up. Any height from there to, you know, that's as tall as I ever throw things, so that's a nice amount of adjustment. Obviously, depending on how tall you throw how and how wide you want. Well, wide actually doesn't matter because you can rotate it, but height, obviously, it needs, you need to have a, a magnetic, something that it can stick to up to the height, and then obviously it sticks kind of relative to the body because it attaches on the bottom. So that gives you a height of this height. Um, but realistically, for mugs and things, level with the wheel head up to there is all you really need. Um, and then next I will show you how I zero it and then I'll throw some pieces with it. Right, so to set my laser, I use this grid. So um, something I designed in conjunction with Hartley and Noble. So it's designed to work with their bat system. And this is the Hartley and Noble Russian doll bat system, uh, which I've talked about in other videos. If you're buying the bat and the grid from them, I think they're still doing the referral thing where if you mention my name, you'll get a free gift. Worth checking with them first because I can't remember the exact details of it and it's changed every time. But I use the grid system. It's basically designed to work as Obviously it slots into the insert of this. It's zeroed on the height because it slots in. So any bat that you put in here will be at the same level as zero, essentially. Um, and if you line it up with the pins, that gives you an absolute center of the wheel as well. So you've got absolute center there, and then obviously it measures outwards. Um, you can use this with a normal throwing guide. I prefer the laser. Uh, the reason for that is that you can't knock the laser where you can knock a normal throwing guide and it won't get in the way where a physical guide you have to try and work around it to avoid knocking it um, just kind of better all around the only downside is that you have to replace the batteries every now and then um, i'm going to be throwing some medium peacock mugs so i want it 97 mil high and 108 wide and these are that's a very precise number but that's actually worked back off not overly precise numbers. So I think it's like I'm throwing to nine and 10 centimeters and then that's accounting for how much the plate's gonna shrink. So sounds very precise, but um, it's not actually. 
haven't worked out how I need things to be to that level of accuracy. Right, so that's the height, and then and it's important when you do zero this to make sure that it's facing the laser because obviously as you twist it you get different numbers so have it pointing directly at the laser um, that looks pretty good to me uh, and so I will now throw some bits and um, this is the part the setup I wanted a fairly quick video of that just kind of running through the basics of that and then I have another thing to talk about in part two.